everyone, it's me, Alex, and I don't have Archie with me today. He is giving Dan a cuddle in the other room because what I want to talk to you about is kind of serious and I've tried to film this three times already, but Archie was going berserk and screaming and I just felt like it was kind of detracting from what I was trying to say. So uh, without further ado, I am going to tell you guys a story about an ongoing saga that I've had with Boohoo.com. Now, this wouldn't be a story time without some dramatic music. In June, I placed an order on Boohoo. I spent a bit over $900 and the items arrived to me, I reckon, 10 days later. Now, despite the fact that I paid for express shipping, it did take about 10 days, the items arrived and I had them sitting in the parcel for a little while and I didn't end up filming the video for about a week. And a couple of days later, I returned the things that didn't work out. Now, if you saw my Boohoo videos, you'll know what I'm talking about. There was a bit of a disaster with some of the dresses being nowhere near as long as they were in the photos online. Um, there was a lot of color discrepancies. There was a lot of sizing issues. I ended up returning $630 worth of clothes of the $900 worth of stuff that I bought. So I sent the stuff back to Boohoo on the 22nd of July. I paid $12 or so to return the stuff and that's where the uh, issues started kicking in. So what I'll do, I'll pull up the timeline in my emails. So on the 22nd of July, I decided to return the stuff. And on the 30th of July, I got an email from Australia Post saying that your parcel has been returned to the Boohoo Return Center. So that's on the 30th. So I thought to myself, okay, like I'll, I'll give it a little bit of time and I'll wait. Obviously the return isn't gonna come through immediately, so I waited. So on the 10th of August, I was starting to worry. I didn't get an email saying your return has arrived at Boohoo or anything like that. I only got an email from Australia Post. So I was kind of worried a little bit. So I sent them an email and I basically just said, hi, I sent my return back 10 days ago and haven't received a confirmation email. So they got back to me the next day and they said, when you send your return, it goes to a consolidation center. Your parcel is then sent to the UK where our warehouse will check it and process a refund. Sorry, it's not back just yet. So I thought, okay, that makes sense. So I gave it some more time. Now that was on the 11th of August that Boohoo said that to me. On the 14th of August, an email arrived in my inbox and it said, congratulations, Alexandra, your refund is on its way. And then it said, you have been refunded $350. Now, I was waiting on a $630 refund, so I don't know why or how they made that mistake. I don't know why they only sent 300 and something dollars, half of what I was waiting on. So what I did, I sent them an email on the 14th. Now, the issue here is the money wasn't in my bank account, right? I just got an email from Boohoo saying, congratulations, you've been sent a refund of 300 and something dollars, but it wasn't in my bank account. So I sent them an email and I said, hi, I received a partial refund today, but it was not for everything I returned. Would you be able to check this for me? I'm still owed several hundred dollars. On the 15th, the next day, they reply and they say, thanks for reaching out. Sorry to hear your refund wasn't correct. I've just checked your order and I can see that the refund has failed to go through. Can you please let us know your bank account number or your PayPal details and we can refund you there. Once we have these details, we can refund the items to you again. Have a fabulous day, Elizabeth. So this is from Elizabeth. That's important because I replied and I said, hi, Elizabeth, here's my bank account number. Uh, I'm expecting a refund for 26 items. So the next day I get an email and it says, hi, Elizabeth. Thanks for getting back to us. Please send us the SWIFT code on your account as we require this information because the refund failed. Your bank should be able to provide you this information. I was like, what, what is a SWIFT account? I had no idea. So I just thought, look, don't, don't send it to my bank account, just send it to my PayPal. That's easier than me trying to work out what a, what a SWIFT number is. So I replied to them and I said, hi, my name isn't Elizabeth, it's Alexandra. Elizabeth is the name of the Boohoo customer service staff member that sent me the other email. I don't know what a Swift code is, so please send the money to my PayPal account instead. So I gave them my PayPal account. The next day they came back and they said, thanks for getting in touch. 
We're sorry you haven't received your refund. We've now forwarded your PayPal details to our financial team. Please allow until August 19th for the funds to be visible in your PayPal account. So where we're at right now is they sent a refund of 300 and something dollars that didn't actually go through to me. Like they told me it was sent, but it didn't come through. They acknowledged the fact that it didn't go through and they said that there'd been an issue with it going through and that instead of sending it to my bank account, they'd send it to my PayPal. So that's where we're at, right? They said to me, wait until the 19th. So I waited until the 21st. I thought I'll just give them a couple more days just to sort it all out. So on the 21st, still nothing. Nothing in my bank account, nothing in my PayPal, no emails from them. So I send them an email and I say, hi, the funds aren't visible in my account. I was told they would be there by the 19th. Today's the 21st. That day, they came back to me and they said, sorry, you haven't received your refund. Please send us your PayPal statement since June 23rd until today. Now bear in mind, this is the 21st of August. Please send us your PayPal statement from June 23rd until today so we can give it to our financial department regarding your refund. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not entirely comfortable with handing over two months of my PayPal statement to a company to prove that they didn't give me a refund. Like, d does that sit weirdly with you? Because that kind of sits weirdly with me. Like, I mean, I'm not trying to hide anything. There's nothing suspicious there, but I just don't feel comfortable doing that. Like, that's two months worth of my spending. And that's a, it's pretty shameful. Like, I don't really want to show that to anyone. So I went back and I said, I fail to see why I should need to provide you with my own sensitive financial information to accommodate your financial department's mistakes. So anyway, then this is where I've become a little bit of a jerk. I pull the, I'm a YouTuber card. <laughs> I said, look, I haven't dealt with such an unprofessional company before. I've never had this happen. I'm a YouTuber. I've worked with a lot of companies and had to return a lot of items and I've never seen a problem like this happen. How did this happen? How did you send the wrong amount? And if you aren't able to rectify this for me, I'll be sure to hold Boohoo accountable. So, you know, just kind of like, yeah, you do want to stop with me. Like I have a lot of people that watch my channel and you know, if you're going to screw me around, I'm going to tell people about it kind of thing. You know, dick move, I know, but like, hey, it's $630. Like I'm not going to let that slide. They come back a different person now. Now the tone of this email completely changed after I said that. A longer email comes back. Hey, I'm so sorry we requested such sensitive details. I agree, this isn't the way to do business. I can see some refunds have failed to process on our system. This has been passed to our finance department to give you a manual refund. The refund had been rejected due to missing information. Not to worry, this has been re-added with all the correct details that we have. The thing is that the manual refund will be delayed and will take any time up to seven days to hit your account. I'm so sorry for the delay in getting this sorted for you. If you need anything else, please let me know. Have a great day. So now, right, I've pulled the I'm a YouTuber card. All of a sudden, they, they've sat up, they're paying attention now. They've said to me, sorry, it didn't work because we put the information in wrong, right? He said it was missing information. That's why it didn't go through. Don't worry, we've put the correct details now. It'll, it can take up to seven days. Okay, so that's the 22nd. On the 23rd now, I get a refund in my PayPal account. Because remember, originally they tried to send it to my bank account. They put in the wrong information, it didn't work. I said, look, just put it to PayPal instead of my bank account. So I get a notification from PayPal. It says, you've just received a payment from Boohoo. I was like, ha, hallelujah, he's fixed it for me. $235 has been paid to you from PayPal. $235? Hang on. It's meant to be $630. Whoever is running the finance department at Boohoo clearly didn't pass mathematics in school because there's something very, very wrong here. So I reply, I said, once again, there's a mistake with my refund. I'm owed over $600 and I've only been sent $235. So please fix this issue immediately. <laughs> Nothing. I didn't hear back from them. So what do I do? I go on Twitter and I made a tweet. Now, unfortunately, you guys won't be able to see the tweets because I've deleted all of them <laughs> because it just felt a little bit icky and wrong 
for me to leave them up after what happened, which you'll hear soon. But anyway, I tweeted something like, guys, drama, I've got some tea, drama unfolding with Boohoo. Like they tried to send me a refund, it was the wrong amount, then they said they'd fix it, and they sent it again, it was still the wrong amount. Anyway, people started tagging Boohoo. They were like, at Boohoo, do better. At Boohoo, this is terrible. At Boohoo, get yourself sorted. Like, what are you doing? All of a sudden, there's a response from the Boohoo customer service Twitter account. And it says, hi, please send us a DM with your order number and we'll get this sorted for you. So I was like, ah, oh, yes, okay. Someone else is gonna help me now. So now I'll go away from the 18 email chain and go over to Twitter. Yes, that's right, there's 18 emails in that email chain. So we go over to Twitter now. I sent them my first tweet and it says, here's my order number. I was owed 600 and something dollars and I only received 200 and something dollars. So then they came back and they said, please let me know which items that you're missing a refund for and I'll be able to look into it for you. Which items I'm missing a refund for? I don't know. <laughs> There's just a, a random 230 something dollar sum sitting in my PayPal account. How am I supposed to know what items that came from? I have no idea. So I went back and I said, I can't exactly tell you which items were refunded and which ones weren't. Uh, there's just a random sum of money in my account. Like, I, I don't know what it's for. Then they replied to me. Now, this tweet in my DMs is missing now. They deleted it from their end but I had screenshotted everything because I thought that might happen. So it says, I've had a nosy and can see that $394 was issued on the 13th of August and should show in your account between the 13th and the 20th. Now what they're referring to here is that original sum. So you guys remember back with the bank account when they said that they sent the refund, but then they said, we can see it didn't go through because we in entered in missing information. So she says, I can see that that was refunded to you between the 13th to the 20th of August. Please send me your bank statement from the 13th to the 20th of August, as well as the date of purchase. So now not only had they prior asked me for my PayPal statement from June to August, to which some one of them from Boohoo responded to me and said, I agree, we should never have asked you for that. That's not right. Here we are again. They're asking for my own personal sensitive confidential bank statement to show that I didn't get my refund. So I replied to them and I said, sorry, I don't see why it should be on the customer to provide all this information when the mistake is coming from your end. In the email chain, it says, and then I sent her a screenshot of that email that said that original email back on the 14th of August that reads quite clearly, I've just checked your order and I can see that the refund failed to go through, right? So that's come from Boohoo themselves, they said that. So I sent her a screenshot of that and I said, you can see that the refund didn't go through. So why are you asking for my bank statements? You can literally see from your end that it didn't go through. I said, I've never had to provide my bank statements for any other reason than to rent an apartment. Like, I don't wanna give my bank statements out to prove that you guys stuffed up when you can clearly see as per your email that you guys are already saying that it didn't go through. She comes back and she says, super sorry about this, but we do need to see that this $394 refund hasn't gone through. I can see that $233 failed. So remember they said that they were gonna send it to me on PayPal. Now that money did appear in my PayPal account. Like that's how I knew that it was wrong because the money actually came to my PayPal account. But she says, I can see that $233 failed and now has been manually refunded for you. Now that's important. Keep that in mind because remember, I got a PayPal notification saying you just received 200 and something dollars from Boohoo. So that worked. But here it says, I can see that failed. So that I can get this sorted for you, please send us the screenshots of the dates from the 13th to the 20th of August and a screenshot of the original date of purchase. So I went back and I said, I don't understand. You want, I sent you a screenshot from the Boohoo customer service email address clearly stating, we can see from our end that the refund didn't go through. One of your customer service people acknowledged that the refund didn't go through and said that they will have to manually send it. It didn't go through because it was missing information. I said, you can see that. I don't see why I need to give you my PayPal or bank statements. She came back and she said, yes, 
we can see that your refund failed. And I can also see that our finance team has manually refunded this for you. We do ask for screenshots of your bank statement so we can pass this on to our finance team to see where the rest of your refund has gone. So remember, right? So 200 and something dollars landed in my PayPal, but there's still $400 floating around, right? So they wanna see screenshots of my bank statement to see where the rest of my refund went? I, am I being dramatic? I, I don't think that sounds right. Like that just sounds weird to me. So I went back and I said, what I wanna know is how did this mistake happen to begin with? It was a clear amount that was to be refunded to me. Why was it divided into 300 and something dollars first and then 200 and something dollars after that? If you can see that the refund failed, why do you want to see my bank statements? Like it just wasn't making sense. She's come back and said, I'm sorry, this has been messed up and I'll try my best to get it sorted for you. Now this poor girl, I feel too, I hate being this person. I, I mean, I've worked in customer service when I was in university. I hate being this person, don't get me wrong. I feel really, really bad for the girl that had to deal with me because I was being a pain, but I'm not gonna let 600 something dollars just run away from me like that. So she said, all I need is screenshots of your bank statement. You can cover your private details if you want, but once our finance team has this, we can tell you what happened to your money. So I said, okay, so you want a screenshot that just shows numbers, covering my private details, but just showing the numbers. So you can cross check that the amount that didn't land in my account isn't in my account. Is that is that what I'm understanding? Like they're gonna look through my bank statement for two weeks or whatever it is to make sure that the amount that I'm owed doesn't appear on my bank statement? Is that what they're asking for? That seems wrong. Like they, they should be able to see from their end that it didn't work. They've told me they can see from their end that it didn't work. So I went back and I said, I'm a YouTuber. Here goes uh, Alex again pulling the YouTuber card, I said, I just wanna get this straight because I'm gonna make a video about this on YouTube to warn people about how much trouble that I had to go through to get a refund from Boohoo. So just so that I can get this straight, please tell me how this happened in the first place and why you need my bank statement. So now another person has come along because they always sign off with their name. So a different person comes along now and says, I'm really sorry for the length of time this has taken to be resolved for you. I've escalated this over to our finance team for more information. As soon as we have an update, we'll be in touch. So notice, as soon as I said, I'm a YouTuber, all of a sudden, this has been escalated. A different person signed off, right? So maybe the girl that was originally handing it saw the whole YouTuber thing and was like, whoa, no, no, I don't want to put my finger in that pie and like has gone and got someone else to handle it. And that person has said they've escalated it now. So as soon as I pulled the YouTuber card, it got escalated. So now a different person comes along again and says, are you available for a call for me to discuss this further? Now I'm woke guys, I'm woke. I said, no, sorry, I don't want anything in a call. I want it all in writing. I need those receipts guys. And I can't spill the tea without receipts. So she said, not a problem, I've emailed you. So let's go back over to my emails now. This is a long one. Hey Alex. Just wanted to get in touch regarding this order. First of all, we here at Boohoo cannot apologize enough for all the troubles. We also apologize that you were asked for your bank statements. This is not something we do, and that advisor will be informed of this error. I have read through the chain on Twitter, and this will be passed on, as we do not believe this was approached correctly. I've tried to call you a few times, but unfortunately it didn't go through. I just wanted to let you know that this has now been sorted. I can see that $394 has been refunded back to you, to your bank account. So remember, the original bank account that didn't go through because they put the information in wrong, so now that same amount of money, she says she can see that it's been refunded. So the 300 and something dollars has been refunded now. Again, uh, now she says because of our error, the $235 has now been refunded twice. So if you guys remember, just a little while ago, the girl on Twitter was saying, I can see that 200 and something dollars didn't go through to your PayPal. It's been manually refunded. Remember that? Because I said, no, I know it went through because I got the notification. So that's what she's referring to. So the girl that was talking to me before said, 200 and something dollars didn't go through to your PayPal, but it did. 
and it was manually refunded. So it was sent, 200 and something dollars was sent twice. Does that make sense? So she says, because of our error, the $235 has been refunded twice. Please don't worry. Because of all the troubles, I've spoken to management and they have advised that you can keep this money. One charge will appear on your card over the, on your card as in my bank account and the other will be in your PayPal. So do you see, it's all coming together now. They sent me 300 and something dollars to my bank account, but it bounced because they put the information in wrong. So then when I contacted them about that, whoever originally dealt with it obviously resent that money. Then when they figured out that that wasn't all of the money, there was still some money owing, they sent that to me through PayPal because I had said to them, it's not in my bank account, please send it to my PayPal instead. So they sent the remainder to PayPal. But then for some reason that amount got sent twice because someone on their end said it didn't go through. But they... I don't... I don't... But... <laughs> anyway, the amount landed in my PayPal account, but then they also sent that same amount to my bank account. So there's a lot of payments going on now. <laughs> so she said, you can keep that money. Please accept my apologies, Alex. I can see you have a huge following on social media, all this stuff. So you can see here that the series of events was, I, people weren't really helping me. They, were, they weren't giving me the right amount of money. Things were going wrong, 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 wrong. I made a tweet. They saw that I'm a social media personality. They fixed it straight away. They fixed it. So uh, in the end, I wasn't scammed. Like in the end, I got my money. I even got more money than I wanted. So I went back to them and I said, I'm not comfortable keeping that extra money. As long as I have the money that was owed to me, I'm happy. So could you please let me know how I can return that money to you? Can you please give me your bank account details so I can send that excess money back to Boohoo? Because I don't want to keep that. That feels icky and wrong to me. I feel like I, I don't want to feel as though I'm being bought. Like a huge part of me, when I read that part that was like, you can keep that extra money, a huge part of me that was really, really angry and was like, I'm gonna make a story time video, and screw boo hoo. And I was like, oh, no, they're being nice. I won't make the video. Like, I'm not gonna make the video. I'll just be quiet because they made it right for me. But then I sat back and I thought to myself, no, wait, wait. They only fixed it for me because I'm on social media. Now, why do I know that? Because of Trust Pilot. So this is, this is a whole new part of the story now, guys. Trust Pilot. So if you go online and you type in Boohoo Reviews, this website comes up, Trust Pilot, and these reviews come up. Now, every time you refresh the page, there's a new one-star review. Things like, I never got my order. I never got my refund. Never got my refund. So those sort of reviews are all over that website. And I can see that people have a lot of problems with them. Bear in mind, I'm making this after it's all been fixed. I don't want you guys to go after them. They, they've given me my money back. They've literally given me more money than I'm entitled to. And I wanna get rid of that money. I don't feel comfortable keeping that. I feel really personally responsible because I've made three videos now about Boohoo. And I know so many of my subscribers have gone out and bought the clothes that I've talked about in those videos. And I feel really scared now that my subscribers are going to have the same issue. Like what if someone buys something because I said, this runs really true to size, it fits me really well, I love it, it's really nice. What if my subscriber buys that, gets it, the fit is off and they have to return it and then they never get their refund. I feel like that's on me because I've endorsed the brand and I've told you guys that I liked the clothes and you guys go out and buy it and then something goes wrong. I feel like that's on me. And I don't want you guys to have to go through that. So the moral of this video is that if you're gonna buy something off Boohoo, I'm not saying don't shop there because I've got some fantastic clothes from there, stuff that I literally live in. I have like five or six items from Boohoo that I have worn non-stop because I think they're amazing. I like the quality, I like the fit, I like the color, I like the style, all this sort of thing. I've also had some of the worst fashion disasters I've ever seen ever on Boohoo. I have literally had some of the greatest and some of the absolute worst. So my advice to you guys, I'm not saying don't shop there. I'm saying shop with care. If you're gonna buy off sites like Boohoo or Pretty Little Thing, Misguided, if you're gonna buy from places like that, 
you don't really have the freedom that you have from a trustworthy website like ASOS. I can't praise them highly enough because when you order from ASOS, the, the stuff comes really, really quickly. They give you free returns. You don't have to pay to return it. They just give you a return slip. You have to just tick from the list of things you ordered. You just have to click the ones you're returning. It generates a return slip. You print it, you just stick it on the bag that it came in. It comes in a big ASOS bag. You just stick it on the bag, tape it down, take it to the post office. The post office scans the code and says, thank you. They hand you a tracking number, you leave. You don't pay a cent. You just give them the bag and you leave. The thing with ASOS, when I returned my last ASOS return to the post office, they scanned it. I said, thanks. I turned around, started walking to my car, got a notification from PayPal. It says, you just received a payment from ASOS. They hadn't even received the parcel yet and they gave me my refund. Like that's how on the ball they are. I literally got the refund on the same day that I took the thing to the post office. I was mind blown. So when you shop at a place like ASOS, for example, imagine, picture this, imagine I have my engagement party next, next weekend and I'm looking for a dress for the engagement party. And I saw a couple of dresses on ASOS that I was thinking of getting. So what I did, I bought all of them and I'm just gonna quickly try them on in front of the mirror and pick which one looks the nicest and I'm gonna return the others. It's literally just like shopping in a regular store. It's like going around, gathering up a whole bunch of dresses, going into a change room, trying them on, buying one of them. It's like that, but you have to pay out of your pocket to get the stuff to you and then you get refunded as soon as you send it back. So when you shop at a place like that, you have that security and like, you know that you can be a little bit more, you know, free with what you buy. You can have a bit of fun. You can go out of your comfort zone just cause you want to try it, try it on, know that you can just return it just like that and there won't be a problem. They don't hassle you. They don't give you any issues. It's just a, an immediate refund. It's great. But with a place like Boohoo, pretty little thing, misguided. I would just say, if you're going to buy something, Buy it with the knowledge of, you know what, I'm going to have to stick with this. If I buy it and I don't like it, just keep it or sell it on eBay, sell it on Depop, sell it on Gumtree, whatever you want to do. I really highly recommend you don't put yourself through the refund thing. Just don't. I've had a few comments from people saying things like, oh, I never had a problem with Boohoo. I return things all the time. However, all of those people that said that to me were in the UK. All of them. I, I checked. Like, they're all in the UK. So it seems as though Boohoo looks after their UK customers really well, but internationally, they ha it's, just, it's just a mess. Also, pretty little thing, the return there, that didn't go so well either. When I returned that stuff, it took a, about a month for the money to come back into my account, and it was missing $100 from it. But it was really difficult for me to prove that it was missing $100, because when they issue you your invoice, it doesn't show the actual cost of the items. So it'll be like pink t-shirt, $30. But when you actually click on the listing of the pink t-shirt, it'll be like $15. And the prices don't match up. But at the very bottom of your invoice, it'll actually tell you what you actually paid. But on the individual itemized listings, it won't give you an accurate price. It's really weird. And the reason it's like that is because they have sales going all the time where it's like, hurry, 50% off for the next two hours. And then two hours comes along and then all of a sudden it's 70% off and then two hours comes along and then all of a sudden it's 80% off. The, the, cha the price just changes all the time. So it was really difficult for me to kind of pinpoint where the problem was with that refund. So I was like, you know what, stuff it. Like I'll, I'll just accept it because if you look at the trust pilot for Pretty Little Thing, it is scary. It's scary. So I was like, look, I'm just lucky that I got my money back to begin with. Like, even though it's $100 short, I was like, whatever. Like, just, I knew that it was going to be a nightmare and I just let it go. Misguided? Oh man, duh. <laughs> if you watched my misguided haul, four of the items were wrong. There was something in the wrong size, something in the wrong color. And then there were items that were missing pieces. So I got a couple of things that were meant to be a two piece set, but they were missing the second piece. So what I did, I sent them an email and I said, hi, four of my items are incorrect. And I listed the items and I said what was missing and I sent them pictures and I said, this is what's wrong. So they said to me, hi, Alexandra, please return it and then we'll give you a refund. And I said, okay, are you going to give me a return slip? You know, are you going to cover the cost of the return? They said, no. 
it was going to cost me over $30 to return the things. So I said to them, this is going to cost me $30 to return, but this isn't my fault, this is your fault. So I don't see why I should have to pay for the return. And they said, sorry, Alexandra, unfortunately, if you don't return the wrong items to us, we can't give you your refund. And I was like, this makes no, I, I am not paying 30 something dollars for your mistake. I'm not doing it. Like, in what universe does that make any sense at all? So I said to them, no. And then I pulled the I'm a YouTuber card. Now, by this point, I'd actually posted my misguided video uh, and it had 200,000 views. So I said to them, just so you know, I posted a video about your company where I endorsed your products and I generated thousands of dollars worth of sales for you. Now, I don't make affiliate money from them, but I do know that I generated thousands of dollars in sales because of the amount of DMs and pictures I got tagged in where people saw the video and bought the things that I talked about. And they were taking selfies and they're like, I bought this dress because of Pretty Pastel Please, or I got this coat because Pretty Pastel Please showed it in a haul. Like thousands of dollars worth of stuff, people bought. So I said to them, just so you know, like I posted a video for you guys, it has 200,000 views. I endorsed your products, I endorsed your brand, and now you're gonna try and make me pay 30 something dollars because you sent me four wrong items. That doesn't seem right to me. So then a manager came along and said, literally groveled, I am so sorry, Alexandra, I am so sorry. This is a terrible mistake, we're so sorry. You know what, keep the items and we'll give you the money. We'll refund you the money and you can hang on to the items. Don't even worry about it. So then the refund appeared literally five minutes later. My PayPal got a notification. It was the wrong amount, to be fair. That was $120 worth of stuff that was wrong and I got a refund for about 70. But I was like, okay, well look, I don't wanna, I mean, I've told them I'm a YouTuber now. They can literally see my face. I'm not an anonymous person. They know who I am. I don't wanna be a dick. Like, I don't wanna be like, excuse me, but you know, you sent me the wrong amount. And I was like, whatever, I'll just, I'll just return the items that didn't fit and then get that refund. So I boxed up the things that didn't fit, paid to return them back to Misguided, and then that refund came through, and that one was short money as well. It wasn't a lot of money. I can't actually remember how much it was. It might've been 70 or $80 short or something like that. I let it go again, because I was like, look, with the amount of back and forth and all of the hassle, I'm just gonna let it go. Now, for me, I do this all the time, I do haul videos, I drop huge amounts of money and I can justify doing that because I'm a YouTuber. I literally run a haul channel, so I can justify doing that. But for an everyday consumer to lose that much money after returning something, it's not okay. Like $100 just losing it like that. I mean, for some people it's like a week worth of work. <laughs> like, it's just not okay. So for all three of those companies, I've had issues with the refunds, all of them. and. I just advise you guys, if you're going to buy from a website like this, where it's like, wow, the clothes are so cheap, and then you get really, really tempted to buy a whole bunch of clothes because they're so cheap, I recommend just spend an appropriate amount of money and think to yourself, just treat it as if the website doesn't have a return system. Just think of it that way. Just say to yourself, if I buy this, I'm stuck with it. Just think like that. Because just take a look at the Trustpilot websites where there's these one star reviews, hundreds and hundreds, sometimes even thousands of one star reviews saying, I never got my refund. Just see what all those people go through and think to yourself, do I really wanna risk it? Like, yes, at the end of the day, I got my refund from Boohoo, but I only got that because I'm a social media influencer. That is the only reason. It's only because I pulled the YouTube card. Like, thank you to Boohoo for fixing it in the end. All the money has been returned to me, plus more. So thank you for fixing it. But I'm making this video because I, I want you guys to just be careful when you shop. If you have to buy a lot of things because you wanna try them on, buy from somewhere like ASOS. But ASOS is really expensive, like really unreasonably expensive. You know, like we're talking like $60 for a plain t-shirt, sometimes kind of expensive. But at the same time, at least you do have that security. Like you know that <laughs> It's, you know, a, a reliable company that's going to look after you. Whereas some of these other companies, they don't give a damn about their customers. They really don't. They're just trying to sell as much as they can, make as much as they can, and that's it. I've seen a lot of people saying things like, wow, I never, I never got an email back from them. I emailed them about my order and they never replied to me. So like sometimes you don't even hear back from them at all, full stop, let alone get your refund. So the moral of this story is just shop carefully 
buy things with the intention of not returning them. Think to yourself, I'm gonna buy that and if it goes wrong, I'll just sell it on Depop or I'll just alter it or something like that. Just don't risk returning it. And there will be people in the comment section that are gonna say, look, I've never had a problem. I've had 10 re refunds from this side. People will say that, but it looks as though a, more people have bad experiences than people who have good experiences. So, I mean, even Wish has better customer service and better refunds. Wish is really good with refunds, like very, very good. A couple of times I've ordered things and within like a month or two, the item didn't come and you just click like, there's an issue with my order, my item didn't arrive. You just say like, I want a refund. They don't even question you, they just give you a refund. There's sites that are really, really good with their returns. So just be mindful guys. So that's that's it. Sorry about the big rant and about the big lecture, but that's my, uh, that's my return scam with Boohoo. Be mindful, stay woke, shop cautiously. And uh, with that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Mwah.